Uh, hello friends, uh, in the previous video, uh, we acquainted ourselves with the concept of demand as uh, understood in economics or as treated in economics, I should say. Uh, as uh, demand is fairly important topic and it has many aspects that are extremely important uh, to understand uh, the uh, uh, economic, uh, economic theoretical tools uh, of analysis. So, uh, let us uh, proceed to discuss those aspects uh, and one such thing which is extremely important is uh, the distinction between quantity demanded and demand, okay. Both are different and they have the different meaning in economic theory, quantity demanded, okay. It is different from demand. Uh, let me explain it with the help of a hypothetical schedule where we are making a, a hypothetical table of two columns. One is price, another one is the quantity demanded. Suppose when uh, the price, unit price are 20, uh, monetary unit may not be important. It could be dollar, it could be rupees, it could be any other currency. Suppose quantity demanded was 50 units okay that is 50 units of the commodity or the good is bought in the market or is likely to be bought in the market when the unit price is 10 per unit when the price increase from 10 to 15 quantity demanded will come down 30 suppose why this quantity demanded will come down this we will discuss for, uh, later in the law of demand and the reason for this kind of relationship that is uh, the different. Now uh, let us make another uh, one more entry that is uh, 20. Uh, suppose when the pri unit price are 10, uh, there are 10 units of the commodity which is being demanded. So this is quantity demanded, this is quantity demanded, this is quantity demanded. And when we say the various quantities that are bought at various price levels, that in totality that is demand. That is demand means the various quantities that would be bought at various price levels. That means demand is nothing but the schedule of quantity, various quantity demanded at different prices. Uh, let me uh, plot it on the graph to make it more clear. Okay. Uh, suppose here on this x y axis uh, we measure price and on x axis we measure quantity. Uh, suppose This uh, scale may not be drawn properly, but uh, 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 the message uh, could be uh, put across. Now, when the unit price were 10, the 50 units were being demanded. So, you get a point here. Okay. At 15 uh, unit price, 30 units were being demanded. So, you will get a price here, uh, point here. And when the unit price were 20, quantity demanded was 10. So, you will get a point here. And when you join this, these points, you will get what is known as demand curve or simply the demand. Let me draw a straight line so that uh, although demand curve, it's not necessary that it, that it is a straight line. Uh, it could be curve or it could be uh, a straight line. So this is demand, right? And as we will see later that this demand plays a very significant role in determining the equilibrium price that, is, uh, that we will see later. So this is the distinction between quantity demanded and demand. Now another important aspect um, 
with respect to demand is as to what are the factors that determine demand okay so let us identify as to what these factors could be price quantity relationship we have seen uh, that is price is obviously one such factor so i'll put it on the top and this is important factor uh, determining the quantity demanded uh, because uh, it is the equilibrium price uh, for uh, the commodities in the market that would determine as to what quantities of various goods and services would be produced in the economy and uh, uh, what uh, 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 that uh, together with the supply curve would determine the equilibrium price in the market and that would uh, uh, determine as to in what proportion the various factors of productions would be deployed um, for the production of these goods. So that is why price is important. And uh, uh, further uh, discussion on uh, the market equilibrium will make it um, will make it more explicit. So price is important. That is why I have put it on top. So when price will increase, quantity demanded go down, and vice versa. That is, if price will decline, quantity demanded will go up. Another important factor is income. If income of the people, I mean the nominal income. It has the positive relationship with the quantity demanded. That is, if income will increase, quantity demanded will also increase if the good happened to be the normal good. Okay, we will discuss this also as to what do we mean when we say the normal good. Okay, we will discuss it later. Third, it could be taste and preferences. Test and preferences. It also influences quantity demanded, and if taste and preferences for the good declines, quantity demanded will decline. And if the taste and preferences um, changes in favor of that commodity, quantity demanded of that commodity will go up. Price of complementary goods. Complementary goods are those uh, that are used in combination in a sense. That is for a commodity which is being discussed here, which is in uh, under reference. If uh, there is a commodity which becomes necessary if you are using a particular commodity. Say for example, car and petrol. I mean petrol is necessary if you have to drive a car. So, uh, if price of petrol goes up, it is bound to affect the demand for cars, okay, quantity demand. So, price of the complementary goods are such that if they will go up, quantity demanded of good X will go down, okay. Similarly, the price of substitutes, substitutes are those goods that can replace the good in question. Say for example, Coke and Pepsi. If Pepsi price goes up, there is likelihood that the demand for, uh, for Coke will go up. I mean the quantity demanded. So uh, price for substitutes and the quantity demanded are positively related. So these are the few factors. There could be many more. Uh, I have outlined few. Uh, so, it is important to understand that there are many factors on which the quantity demanded depends and it is for this reason that when we observe or when we measure the changes in quantity demanded, we measure it with respect to one of such uh, variables or the factor holding others other factors to remain constant or assuming other factors to remain constant. Okay, uh, those things I will discuss in my next video. Thank you very much.